Live on FS1 from Madison Square Garden. It started with over 2,800 dogs, over 200 breeds from 49 states and 16 countries, down to seven group winners. Only one will be named the best in show. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel. Happy Valentine's Day to you and yours from all of us at CBS Sports. How this race has grown from its early days on the beach. Today, the winner will take home $1.1 million. There's over $8 million in prize money at stake. This race has been won by the sport's greatest legends. Richard Petty, Cale Yarborough, and Bobby Allison have become immortalized here. But Daytona is also the place where legends are born. You know, in any form of auto racing, you've got to prepare the car before it goes out on the track. But in Demolition Derby, it's a little bit different. Uh, instead of getting them set up, they're tearing them apart. Every single window has to come out of the car. All the extraneous metal, all the mirrors, everything. As you can see, it, it's a pretty hectic process. Welcome to Rollover Competition. Hello again, everyone. I'm Bob Varsha, along with Brian Unks. We have warm-ups going out on the racetrack, preparing for something very different. This is not roundy round racing. We are going to see what people can do, how many times they can go on their heads for a pile of money, and it should be pretty interesting. Indeed, it should, but we have older vehicles, smaller vehicles. The object is to roll over as many times as you can. Character is out here. Zigzag is the world record holder. He's rolled over five and a half times, which is incredible, and it should be a great event. It is not easy, and with more on the technique, here's Mark. Mark Garrow. We probably, though, here at Nashville Super Speedway won't see that kind of wreck today, thankfully. Yeah, thankfully. Uh, Nashville's a different type of racetrack. 1.33 mile, miles, tri-oval, great competition here, great racetrack for these guys to showcase their talents without any Winston Cup regulars. But they found a running game last week in their road win at UAB. Nearly 700 yards of total offense. It's going to be a good one today. Navy and East Carolina. It's next on Fox College Sports. We're glad you're with us. And that is what they're focused on. The famous mustard belt. Can they come home as the champions and walk away with that? So happy 4th of July and the birth of American freedom here at Coney Island. Rich Shea along with me at Surf and Stillwell. This is where everything happens. Jerry should be a great race. I'm Bob Jenkins along with Daryl Waltrip and Benny Parsons. Now, as you saw, the top five in the points are stock car drivers. They historically have dominated the IROC series. So, Daryl, does this track mean that it's going to be easier or more difficult for these open wheel guys here this afternoon? Well, quite frankly, I believe it'll, I believe it'll be much tougher. Uh, Benny may or may not agree, but uh, Daytona and Talladega, as you know, it's horsepower. It's position. It's knowing the draft. Here, you got to finesse. You got to drive the car. You got to get it down the corner, get off the throttle, get on the throttle. A lot more car control here than we saw at Daytona and Talladega. Prior to today, the most exciting moment in Elton Sawyer's career had to be this Bush Grand National victory. Myrtle beat South Carolina last year. Crew goes crazy. Big smile on Elton's face. But how could that compare, ladies and gentlemen, with the opportunity today to join our ESPN broadcast team, become one of the guys with the ties? and try to fill the big shoes of the likes of, say, Benny Parsons, for example. Well, Dave, I don't know if I can fill his shoes, but I sure don't want to fill his jacket. <laughs> hey, gotcha, Parsons. <laughs> Let's talk about this series. I'm impressed with the quality of the field that we've gathered here. Oh, it's great. There's 32 championships among 32 trucks. We've got motorcycle champions. We have off-road champions, all types of stock car championships, as well as off-road. Boy, Greaves drives it in deep. Oh, look at that! He pulls a pass off on the outside! Half a lap to go. Winner take all today. Nothing else matters. Oh, contact. and they make contact again! Reeves with a bicycle. Oh! You're going to see some air here. One more turn for Coral Runner Center. That's what it's all about right there. After racing back from the hospital, after his wife Kelly was involved in a wreck, she's okay. He's coming to the checkers. Carl Renner's in a win. 